How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Exploring LSPDFR. What is that, you ask? Well, it's a series that I started a long, long time ago when first getting into it to kind of showcase all the open interiors that are available in the building. And today we are going to be getting into the Cluck and Bell factory. We're just going to go, go in and check it out, see what's all the available to everybody. So let's head in the doors here. As you see, we've got a bunch of chickens caged up here. We'll just pretend we're doing a inspection. Nothing in here. So we got the office. Is this one, is this open? Yes, it is. Okay, we got an extremely bright light in here. Smoky, just normal office here. Mainly the reason why I do this is for people who like to RP scenarios. You can see if this is something that would fit into your RP. You know, a lot of people with, uh, L not LSP, but on 5M and all that. we got two layers of chicken stacked in. got a lot of chickens in here. Let's go into the actual processing area. That is not open. You can tell by the drawing on it. Got one of the butcher areas here. The freezer is not open. Got a bunch of dead chickens hanging up here. Now those lights are bright. I need to maybe do an adjustment on my... Uh, settings. Looks like we got a deep fryer right here, which is kind of interesting because the chickens going in all have feathers. So maybe it's just uh, deep feather them. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of blood here. Just hang around, and go up there, and they go through into the next area. Here looks like we've got a bunch, couple of things of waste. Got a bunch of animal waste. Must be a cooler in here or a freezer. But the chickens, they do they come out here? I would guess they do. Come down onto these trays already filleted. That's interesting. I don't see anything on the other side that would be open and be able to get into. Go up there. Let's see, can we get into this area? Was this warehouse packing? Yes, we can. So we got some locker rooms. This door open? Nope. Venue machine. Looks like locker rooms I can get ready to go. Go on shift. Come out here. That's probably just a giant screen. Can't get in that way. You hear the train going by out back. Probably meat packaged up, ready for processing. Head out to the restaurant and stuff. Train going by out there. Ah, uh, these are probably loading doors for trains, maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. Then we got the warehouse back here. Fire extinguisher. There's the loading dock for the trains. The train just went by us. And check this out. Yep, there goes the train. Would have came through right here. Good thing we didn't step out here. Got the loading dock. Quite a few things ready to go out. I'll just jump down on a pallet. What we got here. Wheat or something? Not sure what that is. A lot of boxes of chicken beak meat. That's interesting. Chicken breast. The brown boxes are beak meat, whatever the hell that is. Let me get through here. It's kind of dark. Oh, this takes us back out onto the street, so okay. Back through, we'll head back out, see if we see anything different on the way back out. I 
like I say, none of these you can get into. But this is a pretty good sized building that you can get. Do a lot of RP if you can get your buddies together to work some stuff in here. Let's see, we got the meat area here. I don't see anything else. Yeah, this is the Cluck and Bell factory. This is number six on the list of open interiors. Sounds like a train coming through again. We went back that way. Did we go back? Oh no, we can't get back here. Okay. Yeah, we can't get in there. So this is back out at the beginning. Yep, there's the warehouse and our vehicle should be right out here. There's the office, a little more lockers, there's our car. So, yeah, like I say, this is number six on the open interiors with uh, LSPDFR. You can get that file on GTA 5 mods. But, yeah, just a quick run through on the Cluck and Bell factory. Hope you guys enjoyed that, this version of exploring LSPDFR. There will be more coming up, so your eyes out for those and we'll see you guys on the next one take care